quick tutorial about looking at your analytics within Mimic Social Simulation. All right, so you need to look at your analytics at the end of a round, at, after you finished one round of your posts and you look at your analytics to see how well you did and to be able to answer the questions. So all you need to do is navigate down to where analytics is here, this tab. You come here and you choose which platform analytics you want to see. Right now I'm clicked on Facebook, so these are about Facebook right here. Now I am further in my simulation than most of you, so I am round six, whereas as I am recording this, most of you are just about to do round two, which is your first analytics round. So recognize I'm further ahead than you are because I've been playing around with it to see if I wanted to use it for the class. So these are our awareness metrics. Metrics, analytics, these are our numbers. We can use those words kind of interchangeably. And this tells me that over all of the rounds, I have nearly 800,000 impressions. But if I look at this week, I have about 10,000 likes this week and nearly 400,000 impressions this week. For engagements, total engagements over all of my rounds so far, 6,600. This week I've had about 3,300 reactions and comments and about 3,100 shares. For revenue, total out of all of my rounds, about $25,000, but this week about $10,000. So in this, in this round that I just finished, I'm, I was able to have this revenue and nearly 300 conversions. Now remember 300 conversions are people who, uh, that I have people who have bought what it is, have bought a product. Okay, this will also give me a little graph in which I can look at. So these are the impressions for the week of the round I just did. I can also look at reactions and comments. So if, for instance, you're, you have a question, how many people uh, reacted or commented on your Facebook posts? This is where you would you would look to see, you could see, and if they asked you a particular day on October any 28th, how many reacted or commented, you could go, ah, 466, easy. So there are all these different little tabs that give you those results. <clears throat> now, let's say I want to find out about more than Facebook because all of that was Facebook. Now I'm gonna click on Twitter. And now I have information about Twitter. And so this again gives me all the information about Twitter, awareness, engagement, revenue. Can, so I, again, I have what I've, the total, which is what I've done in all the rounds, and this week, which is what I've just done this week. And again, I can look at these different these different tables and I can find out specific information. Then of course I have Instagram. And again, I can click on all these different things, find out how much revenue I made. Here is my best day. I have Pinterest and how much I've done on Pinterest. So again, that gives me my information, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And I didn't do any YouTube ads, so I have no results to mention. So if I had a question in the analytics that say, yeah, how many new subscribers did you have this week? I would say zero because I don't have any. So if don't just leave it blank, write zero to make it clear that you didn't put money in a particular platform. So those are all post analytics and a couple other things just real quick. The questions, th this is the round, this is what we do at the end of uh, running the simulation. So you can get to the questions from here as well. And so, you know, what types of posts get the most inter inter engagement? 
advertisement, pictures, infographics, etc. Now that one, you can look at the spreadsheet or you could also just export uh, the, C the CSV. That's comma separated uh, value. And so all you have to do is open it in Excel and it will open up for you. But you can see of the post that you did what what had the most engagement. So I'm going to I'm going to actually quickly I'm sorry let me pull this up. All right so I am going to go to my digital media folder digital media 365 and let's this is a download of the this is a download of everyone's analytics. So if you want to know when they say what kind of, like this, what type of post gets the most engagement, if you look on here and you'll see this right here is the post type. We had an article, an image, image, advertisement, meme, so that's how you find out what your post type was and then you look to see engagement so just organize it so here like we see an article had 360 engagements and that was more engagement than this image or this image and it's more engagement than that one and more engagements than this image. However, this image had 3,852 engagements, so by far the that particular image had a higher. So now you answer this question based on what you've learned, which type of posts get the most engagement, and here uh, image is what I would put, or picture, yeah, but you could say that. You could also get more specific and look at your images. Look at why did why did this image get so much more than these images? And look at them and say, is this image of you're just a product and nothing else? And this one that had so much engagement was that one of a person with the product. So then again, you just you enter your answer here. So what do you think is best for driving awareness? This is what again, this is what I fill out for round six, not necessarily what you're filling out. And so again, we just look at this, we look at our spreadsheet. And so we're not necessarily awareness is we're not looking to sell, but we're looking at awareness. So we're looking at impressions. So what posts help us get more impressions? And so, for instance, in this case, we had an article and we had an image here, the same one that had a lot of engagement, also drove a lot of awareness or impressions. So again, I can describe what those were and how they worked. So basically, you are going to be just be getting your information from the couple places. You're going to be getting it from your analytics. So here's your post analytics here. You can get them from the spreadsheets and get them that way. You can also see the posts that you've done in the past. So if you don't want to export uh, the spreadsheet, you can also look at it this way in which you could see the picture a little bit better. And you can also filter here so you can choose filters uh, if you want to to organize these a little bit better. Right now I have it organized I think by by platform. I'm not sure. But anyways you can decide how you want those organized but those things will help you answer the questions. Now if you're curious about course rankings if you go to this course rankings you will see where you are compared to everyone else. Now I'm the only person in this class that I'm doing so I only see me but from what I understand you can see your classmates and find out where you are. So me I'm number one but there's only one in the class so not too impressive. Where are you? And of course it's okay wherever you are, whether you're one or whether you are 36. Either is completely fine, but we'd love to see you go higher.
next time. And this will just give a kind of a total of what I've done so far. This is my total impressions, total engagements, total revenue. So this just gives a quick summary of what I've done. So hopefully that will help you to know how to look at the analytics or metrics so that you can answer the questions that are in your round. Let me know if you have any questions. See you later. Bye-bye.